Here are some tips and tricks Justin and I learned when hanging our kitchen cabinets. We've had hung kitchen cabinets before, um, before doing it here at the homestead. So we want to share what we learned with you before we show you us actually hanging them because you don't get to see all of that. Um, first tip is to measure your walls or the layout of your kitchen. You want to know exactly where your sink is going to go, your fridge is going to go, your oven, and your range or microwave, what have you, above your stove. So know where all that is. Measure the length you want your kitchen to be or any other adjacent walls that you have. Um, you want to also, you can also use your previous kitchen layout if you're not starting fresh. So we had an idea of the previous layout of the kitchen where what size cabinets they had where and what we wanted to change. And also we were very cautious of any drawers that we wanted to place where, like I prefer drawers by my dishwasher and also the plate cabinets above the dishwasher just for easy access of when they're clean you can put them up easily. So be cautious of that. Um, you can also have Home Depot or Lowe's. You can go to their uh, cabinet section and ask them, their kitchen cabinet section, and ask them to help you design the layout. But you do have to know the measurements of your walls and also where the sink, fridge, etc. are going to be. And to save money on your kitchen cabinets, you look at stock cabinets first. And sometimes your department stores also have sales going on where it's like 10 to 11% off stock cabinets, or maybe even your order of um, custom cabinets. So I would look for that. Or you can also look at um, reuse it centers or Craigslist for, or even Facebook Marketplace for people selling or updating their cabinets and find some there that way. Um, another tip is to make a T form. So basically what it is is just a capital T um, Justin and I did this with our previous cabinets that we did because they were taller cabinets and we did not have a ceiling to stop where the perfect height would be for the cabinet, if that makes sense. So you make the T, you measure the height where the cabinet's going, the bottom of the cabinet's going to go, and you just stick it up underneath the cabinet and it holds it in place so it's actually like another pair of arms for you and also gives you the perfect height and you just screw it into the stud. Um, and also screws for the cabinets. You want to, the common ones are a one inch, two inch, and a three and a half inch for you to screw in your cabinets to the studs for wall and base. And make sure you mark your studs. A stud finder also helps with that as well. It helps to mark them before you hang them just so you're not trying to find them as you're hanging as you'll see here in just a few minutes Justin and I doing as we were hanging them. And the last one is to make sure that you always have a helper when doing so. Obvious, but more hands the better to help you with hanging the cabinets. So here we go. Here's us hanging our now kitchen cabinets that you see behind us. We are putting in the cabinets um, now currently. We went to get them, but it started raining, so I did not film yeah. um, us unloading them. We got them from Lowe's, the standard stock cabinet, I guess. Yeah. Um, so this is so far as what we have in is the pantry and the one above. We got some cabinets in. Yep, we, we're putting our cabinets in. And, and I got some candy. Yep, we got some candy to help distract while we put cabinets in. So we went with, it's called the Weyburn. It's a pretty milk chocolatey color. Um, I like the grooves in it, but here's all of our cabinets. 14 cabinets. So they'll go, well, in the kitchen. This one actually has, um, Lowe's actually had some pretty good detailed detail on their cabinet doors. There's a really pretty off-white with a black, um, I guess a border trim on their detail, which was really, really nice. Okay, well, it appears we got some surprise cabinets in the boxes here. I, I, I got a machine. I'm going to take taking, your order. They're taking orders. Oh, they're taking, taking orders? orders. Yeah. Place your order. I'd uh, like a double uh, cheeseburger. <laughs> we got some kitchen installed entertainment. We got cabinets done. No, nah, not quite. We're uh, making some progress, but we want to show everybody what we got done so far. Okay. Oh. So 
uh, we're just going to set the camera over here and we're going to put up a couple more cabinets. What do you think, honey? Yep. Why have I seen my strength? To hang screws. these cabinetry screws, you need about, I guess, what, three different lengths, you say? Huh. Are we using th just three different lengths? Yeah, pretty much. Kind of show them what we got here. Oh, stud finder, also very helpful. And then here's another size that we are using. Hopefully this video helped you install your kitchen cabinets and if you'd like be sure to check out our video of installing our kitchen countertops. Be sure to also like and subscribe for more.